as well, come our bishop. You are our father, Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Allah. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Allah. You are worthy to be praised. We give you And then I will allow to sit after I will read the first scripture. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As you get to Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6 to 7. As you do that, 
Let's put our, hand, our hands on our head and say this. This is my time to feed. This is my time to feed on the word of life. On the word of life from God. From God. I will never. I will never be the same again. Be the same again. My life will my, rise. My life will rise to its real meaning. To its real meaning. And to the purpose of God. And to the purpose of God for which I was born. For which I was born. So help me, O oh God. So help me, O oh God. Amen. Let's look at Isaiah 58 verse 6. Isaiah 58 verse 6. Is this not the first that I have chosen to loose the boards of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. Verse 7, let's combine. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry? And that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, that you cover him. And not hide yourself from your own flesh. Let's see the heading as I allow them to sit. Let's sit. Everybody sit down now. Let's sit down. That is what you are going to deal with. Yoke breaking anointing. Mafuta ya mevunja nira. Yoke breaking anointing. Ah, mafuta ya mevunja nira. I say the anointing that breaks the yoke is the yoke yoke breaking anointing mafuta yanayovunja nira amen basi sasa mafuta yanavunja nira amen amen father i thank you for this ground and i declare in the name of jesus baba nakushukuru kwa sababu kwa nafasi hii na natangaza katika jina la yesu that your word shall flow according to your will neno lako litaelekea kulingana na mapenzi yako use me to speak nitumie niweze kunena use me father to lift the lives of people and I thank you, Father, because the 21 days people took to pray. You have to us in different ways. And today, as we open the chain, I pray that in the name of Jesus, no one shall get out of that door the way they came. I speak transformation. I speak change in their lives. I declare the chains are breaking in the name of Jesus. I declare that every bondage is breaking in the name of Jesus. And every sickness is disappearing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I depend on your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I thank and I give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Looking at verse number six. People who have known about fasting. Watu ambao wamejua mambo ya kufunga. It is not enough uh, just to fast if you do not abide with the regulations that God has set. Haitoshi tu kufunga kama hawefuatanishi na maelekezo ambayo Mungu ameweka. We have been having that wonderful time. I know you took your day or your days. Tumekuwa na huo wakati mzuri na jua ulichukua siku zako. But I want you to know that it's like there is a register at the desk of God. He checks on what we are doing. Ningependa ujue kwamba ni kama kuna ile register kwa kwa meza ya Bwana anaangalia vile tunavyofanya. So that even as we do it and we enjoy that we are praying and we are fasting, we need to be in line with the purpose of that particular 
ordinance. Na ili tukifurahia hiyo kuomba na kufunga tunastahili kuwa uh, kwa ile laini ya maelekezo ya Mungu. He is asking he is saying that is this not the first that I have chosen? Anauliza je hii sio saumu niliyoichagua? To lose the bonds of wickedness. Kufungua vifungo vya uovu. To undo the heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free kuacha walio walio tekwa walio shikwa kuachiliwa and that you break every yoke na ya kwamba mvunje kila nira i want to mark that word very carefully ningependa ushike hawa ulishike ile neno kwa makini my bible says every yoke Biblia yangu yasema kila nira. I know we have been talking about the year of moving forward. Na sio tumekuwa tukinena kuhusu mwaka wa kusonga mbele. I made the foundation. Na nikawaweka msingi. We have spoken from many scriptures. Tumeongelelea kutoka kwa maandiko mengi. We have seen them having a way created through the red sea. Na tumeona wakipata njia kule bahari ya Shamu. We have had apostle Paul saying Natuka. I forget the things that are behind. Mtume Paulo akasema kwamba na yafsahau yaliyo nyuma. On towards the goal. Songa mbele kuelekea mahala nilipoitiwa. We have seen Joshua chapter 3 when they were crossing River Jordan. Joshua tatu walipokuwa wakivuka mto wa Yordani. And the way God commanded them to follow the ark of the covenant. Bila Mungu alivyoamuru kufuata lile agano. And everything is about going forward. Na kila kitu imekuwa ni kuhusu kusonga mbele. We have seen what God said even when he used health prophet Elisha. Tumeona vile Mungu alivyosema wakati alimtumia nabii Elisha. After 24 hours there will be food yeah. at the gate of Samaria. Ya kwamba baada ya masaa 24 kutakuwa na chakula. And the four lepers are moving forward to where the enemies were. Wale wanne wenye ukoma wanasonga mbele kuelekea kwa adui. And they received their package. Na wakapokea lao. We have seen so many scriptures about all these. Tumeona maandiko mengi kuhusu ya mambo. We have seen Joseph moving from one stage to another until he got to the place of promise. We saw Jacob moving from Padan Aram coming from Suko to Shechem and then going to Bethel. Tell your neighbor it is a matter of moving forward. You Somebody talk to somebody just say I am mtu. moving forward Mwambie na songa mbele mwaka huu Hallelujah. Hallelujah And when I bring in the concept of the anointing to break the yoke Na nikileta hili jambo ya mafuta kuvunja nira I want to subject myself to this understanding Nataka niwalete kuelewa ama nituweze kuelewa Whatever is out to hinder you from progressing from going forward we must break it today chochote kinachokufunga kutoka kuendelea lazima tukivunje siku ya leo this is not just about using the anointing oil hii sio tu kutumia mafuta you people of this church you know i really do some things watu wa hili kanisa mnajua kuna mambo si huwa zifanyi sana sana and this is because i love my life ni kwa sababu mimi napenda maisha yangu and i do things cautiously na nafanya mambo kwa umakini. But the day I announced here that the last Sunday I will apply anointing oil. Lakini wakati nilitangaza hapa ya kwamba Jumapili ya mwisho nitawatia watu mafuta. I made an agreement with the grace. Niliweka kukubaliana na neema. You know people use anointing oil in different ways. Sio watu wanatumia hiyo mafuta kwa njia tofauti. Some even anoint the, those who are dying. Wengine pia wanapaka mafuta hata wale wanaokufa. Some want to do funny things to scare I want to start by saying this is not the Holy Spirit. This is not the power of God. Hiyo si nguvu ya Mungu. This is a point of connection. Hii ni la kutushikanisha. It is a point of contact. Ni la kutushikanisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do I mean? Na maanisha nini? That oil. Ya kwamba haya mafuta. That has been specified so much in the Bible and we are going to see the scriptures. Mafuta yaliyonenewa kwa maandiko It is a, you know God from the beginning has been using items for 
point of contact. Nikana kwamba Mungu kutoka pale mwanzo amekuwa akitumia vitu ili kushikanishwa. You may tell me that was the Old Testament. Naweza niambia kwamba hilo ni agano la kale. But do you know even today? Lakini unajua hata leo. For God to make the body of Christ move. Na ile Mungu akaufanya mwili wa Kristo kusonga. He teaches us to build sanctuaries. Anatufunza kujenga hekalu. Where you come together and fellowship. Mahali ambapo tunakuja pamoja na kushiriki. This is not God. The house is not God actually. Hii nyumba sio Mungu kweli. It is you under the grace of God. Another one under the grace of God. We come and converge here and then we say we are in the house of the Lord. Ni wewe ukiwa chini ya neema ya Mungu na mwingine pia tunaja tunashiriki pamoja na kusema kwamba tuko katika uwepo wa Mungu. Just like the the ark of the covenant. Kama hivyo lile lile asanduku that went ahead of them. Ambalo lilisonga mbele yao. And every way was clearly. Na kila njia ilikuwa inafunguka. Enemies were dropping their weapons and running away. Maadui walikuwa wanaacha silaha zao na kukimbia. The anointing oil becomes a facility. Haya mafuta inakuwa ni jambo to serve as a point of contact. Ya kushikanisha. I know you tell me no today we think of Jesus only. Na, Jesus is what we need nothing else. Najua utaniambia kwamba leo tunafikiria kuhusu mwito wa Yesu na Yesu pekee ni tunahitaji. Jesus became everything. Na kwamba Yesu akawa kila kitu. I'll tell you yes. Nitakwambia ni kweli. But if you read the gospel of Mark. Lakini ukisoma kitabu cha Marko. Jesus said his disciples. Yesu akawatuma mitume wake to go and heal the sick. Ili akawaponya wagonjwa. And they went healing and anointing the sick. Wakaenda wakiponya wagonjwa na kuwatia mafuta. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja. So it's very important to have understanding. Kwa hivyo ni vyema sana kuwa na kuelewa. And I'll keep telling you. Ningezidi kukwambia. Even if you have this anointing oil. Hata kama una haya mafuta. And you hide it in your house. Na hata uifiche kwa nyumba. So that you think it is the power to defend you. Na ili ufikirie kwamba hiyo ndio nguvu ya kukupa ulinzi. It may not work without this understanding. Inaweza kosa kufanya kazi kama haujaelewa. Like this one is with the attachment of the altar. Ya kwamba kama hii imeshikanishwa na madhabahu. So when the servant of God comes to your house. Kwa hivyo mtumishi wa Mungu akija kwa nyumba yako. To bless your house. Na ili kubariki nyumba yako. Carrying the anointing oil. Kwa mbeba mafuta. It all depends on the grace he has. Inalingana na neema aliyonayo. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja. So not every anointing oil because it is used. It all depends on who is using it. Kwa hivyo sio kila mafuta kwa sababu inatumika kunalingana ni nani anayetumia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even witchcraft uses things ha, like this. Hata uganga na uchawi inatumia vitu kama hivi. And water. Na maji. And soil. Na and salt. Na mchanga na, 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 na chumvi na damu. Are we understanding this? Tunaelewa. Okay, let me now take you to our scriptures. Turudi kwa maandiko. So that even as we share this. Na ili tukienda kugawana. You are aware of what we are doing. Tuweze kuelewa tunachofanya. By the way, what is a yoke? That yoke, what is it? Nira ni nini? Because if we are fasting as Christians, we must also declare the oppressed are going free Kusu. and every yoke is breaking. Kwa sababu kama tunafunga kama Wakristo lazima tutangaze ya kwamba waliofungwa wanawekwa huru na kila nira inavunjwa. Do you know when you look at a yoke? Ukitazama nira, one thing you should know. Kila jambo moja unastahili kujua. It is a demonic or a satanic oppression upon somebody. Ni kugandamizwa kwa kishetani kwa mtu. When you find something to do with the limitation in a person's life. Ukipata mtu wako na mipaka maishani mwake things are not flowing. Mambo hayaendelei. In other words, it is like a satanic barrier Kom- that is set to limit a person's growth and movement. Kwa maneno mengine ni kama uh, kizuizi cha kishetani kinachozuia kukua. You know blocking your breakthroughs. Inazuia upenyo. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja. And if you look at a yoke, na ukitazama nira, I want you to see it because practically we need to look at this. Simon, you should be on me, please Simon. I don't want you to move now. 
if there's nobody standing there. I, I want you to see this because some people are keen online. Which, uh, I want to take something here as an example. Kama mfano. If you have ever seen what a yoke does, Kama umaisha, waiona, vile nira, Let me call the two. Niwaite, as, hawa, a, a, as bad and wife. Ba, mke na mme. I want you to bed. You bed. Stand also there with, with, with him. I want you to bed. Tuiname. When you see two cows with a yoke, they are, they are held on their necks. So what happens? Now, what, what happens? The yoke that ties the two. It has a lot of detail. It has the power holding them that they cannot freely do what they wish. But the good thing with Jeb and Sarah, they know each other, they appreciate one another, so they can move to the same direction, they can wait for one another. But, okay, for a break. But this yoke we are talking about it is not stated that you are yoked with who? Are you getting? That yoke you hear here, we are reading here, it is a yoke, sir, now you can move away. It is a yoke that is on you and the one who is on the other side is a higher power above you forces against your will forces against even the will of God. So, so whoever is yoked together with Jeff, if it is a demonic strength, it will now control him according to its wish. Are you understanding? So when you hear we are breaking the yoke, the yoke of affliction the yoke of oppression the yoke of poverty it is because that force is controlling you taking you the way it wants God bless you, you may sit down I believe it has understood you have understood something now when you hear that we are breaking the yoke you see, even Apostle Paul writes to Corinthians that you should not be yoked with the heathens. So, but the yoke that can help, if we get to the yoke that is positive, it's what Jesus said in Matthew. That come unto me, ye that are heavy laden. Ye that are heavily laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke. For it is light. In other words, we, are, we get yoked with him. Jesus says, take my yoke. Because it is possible to carry it. So today, as we move forward in the year 2024, I have the confidence whatever yoke is lying upon your neck whether known or unknown right now I said a sentence to it it must vacate in the name of Jesus it must break in the name of Jesus tell your neighbor I must move forward
People of dignity don't talk. Where are you? Can, Watu I... na heshima hawa Can you look at somebody next to you on your left, on your right? Tell them I must. One thing I am assured. Jambo moja na uhakika. And I will repeat the words I said last time. Na ntarudia maneno niliyosema wakati uliopita. If we never attended your funeral yesterday. Kama hatukuja kwa mazishi yako jana. You are alive today. Uko hai leo. You are a candidate of what I am saying. Wewe ni mmoja mtahidi ninayosema. Move for forward. Zima usonge mbele. Your stagnation must break. Kusimama kwako lazima kuvunjike. Are you with me? Atuko pamoja. Now another thing you realize about a yoke. Jambo lingine ambalo utapata kuhusu nira it releases affliction on a person's life. Inaleta kugandamizwa maishani mwa mtu. Mateso. Inaleta mateso maishani mwa mtu. Hey. I, I remember this gentleman who took over from Solomon. Nakumbuka huu kijana aliyechukua kutoka kwa Sulaimani. There's something I think he said. Kuna kitu alichosema. That my dad was whipping you with a whip. He was beating you with a whip. Yako baba yangu alikuwa anakuchapa na kiboko. I will be whipping you with scorpions. Na mimi nita nitakuchapa na nyoka. When you see in negative authority above you giving giving you a yoke ukiona mamlaka kinyume nawe ambayo inakupa nira expect afflictions angojea mateso today i know there are people who walk under the yoke of affliction leo najua kwamba kuna watu wanaotembea chini ya nira ya mateso in kiswahili wameteswa paka wanakaa mateso wao wenyewe aha they have been afflicted until they just look afflicted even you fear sometimes they are fellowship hata unaogopa kushirikiana na wao a village can be at a such a yoke a kijiji kinaweza kuwa chini ya hiyo nira like one i went to moranga and now it has changed so Kama if you come from moranga it has it's not moja nilienda pale moranga lakini sasa kimebadilika we in a funeral walitoa tulikuwa mazishi and i looked at people na nikaangalia mahali upo majority had no shoes wengi hawakuwa na viatu and i could see jigas now listen but i was shocked when the chief of the area Nilis, stood to talk nilishangaa wakati uh, chief wa eneo hilo aliposimama kuongea he looked at his watch akaangalia saa yake and he said i thank you so much akamwambia nawashukuru sana because today you did not go to look for alcohol ali kwa sababu leo hamkuenda kutafuta pombe mapema Then I, re- I noted this village Nika- is under that yoke. Nikajua hicho kijiji kilikuwa chini ya hiyo nira ya ya umaskini. A whole family may be under the yoke of affliction. Familia mzima inaweza kuwa chini ya nira ya mateso. I want to declare today. Nataka kutangaza leo. It will not be your house. Ya kwamba haitakuwa nyumba yako. It will not be your family. Haitakuwa familia yako. Yeah, it will not be your life. Haitakuwa maisha yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another thing you find when somebody is at a yoke. Ma jambo lingine ambalo utapata wakati mtu yuko chini ya nira. It keeps the person's destiny in the enemy's custody. Inaweka mwelekeo wa mtu katika mamlaka ya adui. In the, you know you are you are tomorrow you are live it is everything to do with you is within the captivity within the custody of your enemy. Maisha yako kesho yako inakuwa katika ama iko mikononi mwa adui. It's like you are in a prison. Ni kama uko jela. How many people know that when you are in a prison you don't have a free choice? Ni wangapi wanajua kwamba ukifungwa hauna hauna uchagui? Hello. Hello. You don't sleep the way you choose Who? the way you sleep at home. Unali kama vile unavyolala nyumbani. If you are used to eat a certain kind of a meal when you go to prison now you abide with their root Kama umezoea kula chakula fulani ukienda jela unakula ama unatii sheria zao Your destiny when you are alive is in the custody of your enemy Wakati maisha yako iko mikononi mwa adui yako I tell you you have no freedom Nakwambia kwamba hauna hauna uhuru Even your thinking is limited Hata kufikiria kwako kumefungwa You have no way out Hauna njia ya kutoka Because there is a legal dimension 
dimension that is covering you. I break every custody of the enemy and I declare the oppressed must go free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My Bible tells me in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Goja, goja. Let, let's go back. There's something I did not finish. Go back to Isaiah 58 verse 7. I don't want to miss verse 7. Isaiah saba. That verse is talking to everyone here. That if you are a, a prayer warrior, you are praying, you are fasting, you need also to remember. You need to share your bread with the hungry. One of the best practices when you are fasting, if you have missed your meals, you can share the amount of money that you normally spend on that meal with the needy. It's very, very important, specifically remembering the needy, the poor, the hungry. And that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. Are you getting what I'm saying? Bringing them in, meaning you show them care. Those days they were bringing even strangers to come and eat. It's only that today wickedness has increased. You give a lift to somebody and the next time he is rotating you. That's why the love of many has grown cold because of that fear. But this is the practice to do. When you see the naked, cover them. Give them clothes. Make sure you remove that shame. When they do that, the Bible also says there, and do not hide yourself from your own flesh. In other words, Na, you shall not neglect people of your blood. You are relatives. I'll keep telling you, even if you become the richest man in your village, you have not become rich if your brother is a beggar. You have not reached or attained wealth if your sister is a beggar. You may tell me, hey, they don't love me, they don't appreciate me, they talk bad about me, but that is your blood. Now let's go to 10 verse 27 quickly. What does the Bible say? It, 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 it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder. This is the, the, the king of Syria, the Assyrians. You know, when they were oppressing, they were bringing all manner of afflictions mm -hmm. to the children of God. Now, concerning this, this is what the Lord says. That his burden will be taken away from your shoulder. Somebody touch your shoulders. Any burden, any baggage, any luggage you are carrying unnecessarily. I declare it is going to be taken away from your shoulder. We need to be free to carry the burdens of the kingdom of God. I say let there be a replacement now. That the burdens and the baggages of the devil be taken away from your shoulders. That you may manage 
to carry the burdens of God. That you can go say God take care of this as I take care of you. And the Bible says and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Oh. I saw another funny version of the Bible saying and the yoke shall break because you shall have grown fat. <laughs> or this WGBI to some in Mm -hmm. Some would have come for WGBI that we may learn together. But for sure, Lakini kwa hakika, you grow fat because of oil. Kwa sababu ya Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also look at it in this dimension. Na upuna mwelekeo huo. If the yoke was laid upon you because of how slim you were, whether physical or spiritual, kimaisha ama kiroho, let the enemy know that you are in crazy and those chains are breaking I want to declare the spiritual increase in your life that the yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat Mwambie mwenzako pata uzito wa kiroho. Aha, grow, grow spiritually. Pata uzito wa mafuta. Aha, have the anointing. Yay, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. So the yoke shall be broken. Kwa hivyo hiyo nira itavunjwa. Because of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya mafuta. Very quickly, let me show you some of the things that can help you identify. Nikuonyesha mambo ambayo. Whether there is a yoke. Yanaweza kusaidia kujua kana kwamba kuna hiyo nira. Whether you have a yoke upon you. Kama una hiyo nira juu yako or somebody is at a yoke ama kuna mtu aliye chini ya kifungo cha hiyo nira every number one, every yeah. time you find day one, day two you are living a life some months even years you are not enjoying life you are not happy you are only trying to endure it's like you are fighting against you are not fighting towards that is a sign kila yeah, wakati unapojipata kila siku ya kwamba kila wakati unangengana unajaribu kupigana ajue hilo ni ishara if you are lying from morning to evening is a matter of enduring kama maisha yako tangu asubuhi hadi jioni ni kungengana kuvumilia there is no way you are living the joy of life hakuna vile unavyofurahia maisha you need to sense very quickly unahitaji kujua kwa haraka sana and deal with a certain yoke na uweze kungengana na hiyo nira number 2 la pili when you are mark timing wakati unapotembea mahali pamoja you are not moving on how song there is nothing showing or indicating that you are developing hakuna kitu kinachoonyesha kwamba una maendeleo you are mark timing unasonga tu pa unatembea tu mahali pamoja you did that one thing and it was glorious kweli ulifanya hilo jambo moja na likawa na utukufu mwingi but here in the out nothing else is happening lakini mwaka nenda mwaka hakuna kitu Yes, you came out of the university with that degree. Ulitoka university na hiyo degree. You came out of secondary school with great marks. Ulitoka shule ya upili na marks nzuri. But your life is not going anywhere. Lakini maisha yako haisongi. You have the papers. Uko na makaratasi. And you are just knocking one door after the other unabisha, getting promises that are not working. Unabisha mlango mmoja hadi mwingine ukipata kitu ambacho kufanyi kazi. And nothing coming your way. Na hakuna kitu kinachokuja I upon your life today. The yoke is breaking. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you fight yourself number 3, if you fight yourself with the chronic losses. You are not gaining. In other words, your life ends because 
becoming a liability and not an asset. Maisha yako kila wakati inakuwa ni deni na hakuna kitu. That people can close their doors so that you don't get in. Ya kwamba watu wanaweza funga milango yao na ili usije ukaingia. Listen to me these things happen. Hebu nisikize kwa sababu haya mambo yanatendeka. People are tired of you. Watu wamechoshwa na wewe. There is nothing you are adding to them. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu unawaongezea. You have become a liability Ume, instead of an asset. Umekuwa ni kama deni hauna kitu. You can no stretch your hand to give oh. you only want to be given Hawezi tu mkono wako kupeana unataka tu kupewa Not because you want it but circumstances of life have conditioned you that way Sio kwa sababu nataka lakini hali ya maisha imekuweka hivyo That is a sign of a yoke Hiyo ni ishara ya nira How many believe with me it is breaking Ni wangapi wanaamini na mimi bia kwamba inavunjika Is breaking Kwamba hiyo nira inavunjika Hallelujah. The moment you fight yourself. Wakati unajipata without the leading of the Holy Spirit. Bila kuongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu. You are going on sleepless nights, one night another, another like a chain, like a tradition. You are sleepless many nights and it is not in the hearing of the Holy Spirit. Unajipata kwamba usiku mwingi hulali na sio mwelekezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. In other words when you are supposed to be resting you are restoring Wakati ambapo unastahili kuwa unapumzika wewe unangengana You are supposed to rest that particular time but instead of resting you are restoring Huo muda unastahili kuwa umelala unapumzika to raise your faith unangengana You need to raise your faith and we break that you Unastahili kuinua imani yako na tukavunje hiyo nira In Jesus name Katika jina la Yesu Some people even their sleeplessness is coupled with the headaches. Watu wengine hata kutakuwa na usingizi na leta pia kuumwa na kichwa. And the enemy will tell you it is because you have no sleep that's why the headache is. Na, the enemy is just there to afflict you. Na adui atakwambia kwamba ni kwa sababu hukulala vizuri ndio maana unaumwa na kichwa. Adui yako hapo kukutesa. Can I hear somebody saying I break it? Hebu nisikie mtu akisema ninaivunja. I break it. Ninaivunja. I break it. Ninaivunja. la Yesu. The Holy Spirit can cause you to miss sleep. Roho Mtakatifu anaweza fanya ukose usingizi. With a purpose. Akiwa na kusudi. I remember last year. Nakumbuka mwaka uliopita. I think at the beginning of the year. Mwaka ukianza. I had so many nights. Nilikuwa na usiku mwingi. I was if I slept I was sleeping a maximum when I slept most was between three and a half and four hours. Ningelala sana ilikuwa masaa tatu na nusu na manne. At times I could sleep only two hours and it is gone. Na wakati mwingine ningelala masaa mawili na usingizi umepotea. I pray I try to sleep again is not coming. Ninaomba na jaribu kulala tena hakuna usingizi. Amazing you could not notice. Jambo la kushangaza hamungeona. Those days I was no more. Huo wakati huo ama siku hizo nilikuwa sawa. I was praying I didn't know what was all this. Nisikujua nini inaendelea. But I remember. Lakini nakumbuka the day i was conducting the 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 ordination of pastor yunis in kirenyaga wakati ambapo nilikuwa naendeleza shughuli za kumwagia pastor yunis mafuta and that time as you are coming i remember pastor jeff telling me i never told you this ari i waited until this time nakumbuka pastor mtu wa church is only defense ya kwamba sikukuambia mapema nimeona nikwambie leo ya kwamba kanisa yetu imewekwa mpaka and matthew is crying inside he can't get out na madhayo ako ndani hawezi toka that fence you see kuna there. ile ile hii fence ama kuna huu kuna, kuna hii kuta some people don't know that we used to use even that other plot wengine wajui ya kwamba hata ile plot tulikuwa tunaitumia and immediately pastor jeff shared with me that na wakati pastor jeff aliponiambia hivyo I felt like a refreshment. Nikasikia ni kama nimenawishwa. Every night from that night I started sleeping.
living like a baby. Toka siku hiyo nikaanza kulala kama mtoto. And I knew what I was fighting. Na nikajua nilikuwa nangengana na nini. Even when they were demolishing the toilet. Hata wakati walikuwa wana wanavunja choo. Mother was calling me. I was in my house conducting the the, the Thursday Bible study. Na mother alikuwa ananipigia simu nilikuwa nafanya Bible study kwa nyumba. I was telling mother don't worry. Nilikuwa namwambia usishangae. Just try to take a photo of what they are doing. Waachukua tu picha ya kile wanachofanya. I had no burden to bother me again. Sikuwa na mzigo wa kuniva wa kubeba tena. And I know even as we continue forward. Na najua kwamba hata tunaposonga mbele. Tell your neighbor we are moving forward. Ambia jirani yako tunasonga mbele. We are moving forward. Tunasonga mbele. So I want you to see something else. Ningependa tuone jambo lingine. When you fight delay in your accomplishment. Ukipata mambo yako yanakawia kutimia. A delay kukawia I've been talking about the, the wicked we were having here prayers I've been talking about this we are breaking the spirit of delay when you see delay in your accomplishment don't take it lightly Ukiona mambo yako yanakawia kutimia usichukue kwa urahisi There are some project you begin and they are taking years instead of moving. Kuna mambo ambayo unaanzisha kufanya na yanakawia sana bila kusonga. Until people start laughing at you. Hadi watu wanaanza kukucheka. You started building and you reached somewhere and everybody wants to make you a laughing stock. Ulianza kujenga ukafika pahali na kila mtu anataka kukucheka. That yoke must break. Hiyo nira lazima ivunjike. I don't care which route finances will come but i know god has a way of commanding even cyrus to bring to zion whatever is needed for the sake of the name of the lord to be glorified si juu ni njia gani ambayo itatumika lakini najua hata mungu anamwamuru cyrus alete chochote kinachohitajika hallelujah hallelujah Do you hear what I'm saying? When we break the yoke. The next thing is you are released and you are moving forward. Jambo hilo lingine ni wewe kuachiliwa na kusonga mbele. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Nasema katika jina la Yesu.